Coming up shortly on Sports Tonight, the kangaroo fallout from the Rugby League World Cup final and now coach Ricky Stewart's being investigated for abusing match officials. Also, the Davis Cup final, the A1GP and some crazy free skiing. The International Rugby Board Awards and what did the All Blacks actually win in London? More frustration for the Poms, they scored more runs than India yet lost again under the Duckworth Lewis system. And Hollywood comes to Vegas for Hitman Haddon's latest title fight. That's Sports Tonight, straight after Nightline. More from Hot Leg in a moment, but first the Vatican has officially forgiven former Beatle John Lennon for claiming throwbacks, the darkness, you either loved them or you hated them. Well, frontman Justin Hawkins is out of rehab and back with another band. Belinda Henley reports. This is a song Justin Hawkins hopes will relaunch him and his new band Hot Leg onto the charts. It's been two years since Hawkins walked out on The Darkness, the band which sold more than four million albums and put glam rock back in fashion. And while Hot Leg may look like The Darkness, that's where the similarities end. It's similar to The Darkness in that I sing for it. <laughs> so it's not just like a guy in a cat suit and some men with jeans and t-shirts, it's all of us singing from the same hymn sheet, um, doing man rock loudly. In 2003, The Darkness debut album, Permission to Land, went straight to number one. What followed was a rock and roll cliché, three years of relentless touring, followed by the lead singer checking into rehab for drink and drug addictions. It's um, much easier to sustain a tour when you're not sort of hung over all the time and uh, all wired or high or drunk or whatever. I've been clean and sober for a long time now, so I'm much happier and healthier. It's a very different experience for other reasons too. This time round, Hawkins has chosen to stay away from the major record labels, instead sharing his music through Music Glue an online music distribution company set up by New Zealander Mark Meharry. Well, I think it's actually a really good thing for musicians because it's, you know, you're not, your career is then not at the mercy of whoever it is in, the, in a suit in an office who decides whether or not you're good enough to pursue, you know, record and manufacture stuff for. I mean, the main thing is get your stuff out there and get it heard and then the proof will be in the pudding. Hawkins says being in control and being able to communicate directly with his fans means anything is possible. Hot Legs album will be released in New Zealand early next year, with plans to tour soon after. Belinda Henley, London, 3 News. And remember, check out our website, 3news.co.nz forward slash nightline for more on all the stories we've covered today, including some great pictures from the floods at the top of the South Island. Right, after the break, the weather and there are more rain warnings in place. Then later on Sports Tonight, the English Premier League and Spurs continue their winning ways. Champions!